the disrespect before you play bad button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a beautiful morning. It is Sunday. Hope you guys are enjoying the Sunday. Why? Maybe it's because we're still alive. We're still here to see another day, whether it's cold or warm outside, you know what I'm saying? Whether you got bacon and eggs in front of you or you just got fucking a bowl of cereal with water. Either way, it's a good day because we done made it. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. We definitely got them hot clips, definitely got them hot topics. We's about to break it down once again for all y'all. Hope you enjoyed the show. Let's go. All right, ladies and gents, and now we're to the first set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off right here with Fightcade. If you're not too familiar with Fightcade, it's actually a program that'll let you play your retro video games online in a multiplayer fashion. At least that's what I heard from this white guy with the beard. It's a program that will let you play your retro video games online in a multiplayer fashion. On the real though, shout out to Mr. Sujano. I love your work, man, keep it up. Okay, so the Twitter account of Fightcade actually posted this just a couple days ago saying, we have updated the chat rules and adopted the fighting game community code of conduct by FGCOC. The ability to report users will be rolling out to more accounts soon. Then of course, what the hell do you think happened next? You remember when this first broke, right? The FGCOC it was mixed, right? You had a lot of people that were like, well, this is just common sense. All it's doing, it's not to be overbearing, but it's just to, you know, clean up. We don't want people being racist and, you know, bullies and whatnot. But of course, then you had the other side saying, no, we're all grown adults. This is just to police us or to make some bullshit movement to make the FGC even softer. We're all adults here for the most part. We don't need no damn FGC COC. So of course, there was a lot of fireworks, a lot of shit show, right? A lot of people just coming left and going right. And now this is the first time that you've actually seen seen somebody come out like Fightcade and be like, yo, we're actually adopting this. This is actually going to be a policy. Now, I think in the future, you're going to see a lot of major tournaments pretty much make this same announcement. I don't know to what extent, but not, uh, not a lot is happening right now. So I think that's why you're not really seeing too many, but right now it's starting with Fightcade. So right here under chat rules, you can see it says by using Fightcade, you adhere to be civil, no racism, sexism, impersonating, personal threats or physical threats. You can ignore the user and right click over the user. You can toggle mute chat settings. You can toggle mute chat in game. Then it says something about the FB Neo options. Reported users will be sanctioned, which is a big thing because I see other people saying, well, if we could ignore the user and the right click, which seems to have been a few, uh, you know, a feature, why not just keep it that way? Like if we can do that, why, why have a need for the FGCOC in the first place if we can just simply ignore people? Is what some people are saying, but on the other hand, you say, you know, well, it's not just a point of ignoring, but it's a point of getting rid of the bad apples. You know what I'm saying? Like some people are saying it's about time, uh, time to clean up the A3 room of all that nonsense. Others say the Discord is just as bad. I say take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. Others basically saying, what do you expect? Half the players in there are racist trolls. So of course, even in this situation, you have some people saying, you know, that, you know, thank God we're finally doing this and others, uh, which don't have a profile picture, <laughs> but they say, I think no one will stay in this program because of these laws. Freedom of expression should not be restricted no matter what. Others saying, go fuck yourself, numbers account. And then others going back to the train of thought, like, why not, why not just mute them? And others saying, well, the ability to mute and actually moderation are not mutually exclusive. Goonwild actually responds again saying, I'm sure Fight K chat is really bad and could use some moderation. I haven't been in quite some time, but I personally think muting is the best medicine for not seeing what I don't want to see. Then others bringing up the point, well, ignoring the problem though doesn't make it go away. But Goonwild's like, ah yes, we will teach people how to be good via reporting them on Fightcade. Then it's your boy responds again, basically saying it's a decent first step towards showing that spewing that sort of shit is intolerable. There's other ways to play online if you don't like what changes Fightcade is making. And people keep commenting, it's a lot of mixed reactions. Some people saying, oh, come on. Some people saying this is much needed. Oh, no, no. God, thank you. This is so brave. Others saying shame on you for this idiotic shit. Then some adding weight. This COC shit wasn't a joke. Oh boy, what a mess. Then you got others like JD here coming from a different perspective saying a lot of idiots in replies here seem to have missed the closed chat option. Also, nothing prevents people from just making new accounts. So you're basically going to kill fight Kate because of a small group of people that are offended. So this is definitely interesting to say the least. I mean, this is the first time that I've seen somebody come out and publicly saying, yo, we're adopting this. I really think, I'm not, it's, I'm not saying 
saying it hasn't happened yet. You know, I could have missed it, but this is the first time I personally have seen it. So I think, I mean, just seeing how things are unfolding, it kind of looks like it's only a matter of time. Like we see more TOs, more orgs, you know what I'm saying? More events come out and basically adopt this as well. Because on one hand, it does seem like a good thing when people are saying, yo, we just don't want racism. We don't want bullying. We don't want sexism. We don't want all that stuff. It's bad, right? Why wouldn't you want, why wouldn't you want us to stop that? But like we said earlier, you have people on the other side, like, well, we don't really believe that it's here to stop that. And we mainly believe that it's here to kind of infringe on our freedom or to shit on our natural rights of being adults. Because there's other ways to moderate or get rid of that shit without having this code of conduct or list of supervisors that kind of, you know, oversee our behavior. So definitely interesting, definitely a hot topic, and definitely something that doesn't seem like it's gonna go away anytime soon. What do y'all think? And next for them, next set of buttons that need to be checked, I'm glad to announce right here. Do you remember we did one the other day? It was like the TO or the owner, the founder of the Queens of Quarantine exposed, right? She came out, a lot of people calling her racist. Um, Queens of Quarantine basically, made a statement that they were no longer going to be in operation. They had all these amazing, talented women, artists, content creators, pro players. They were just doing this movement to kind of push or help women move with more freedom and more creativity and leadership within the FGC. And sadly, it seemed to have come to a halt and just kind of disintegrate because their leader or founder made some racist remarks. But since then, we are glad to announce they have made a statement recently within the last couple of days right here saying, update, Queens of Quarantine will be rebranded and revamped. That's what we said on the last episode as well, hoping that would happen without absolutely any ties to Cynthia, who's their founder, and her business, Marina's Made Cafe. What the hell is Marina's made cafe. I guess she had a cafe. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. In addition, we will be incorporating new staff in all levels of the organization as well as consultants in order to hopefully prevent such an incident from happening ever again. This will be done via new commentators, brand ambassadors, and social media management. We sincerely hope our actions will speak louder than words with the steps we will be making with this transition. Our goal has always been about inclusivity and making a safe space in the fighting game community and we will try our best to make sure it stays that way. That is what's up, ladies and gents. I was tagged by Triple G Cuisine. Thank you, that's a hell of a name. Triple G, thank you for being that Triple OG and tagging this Triple OG. Whatever, the, I don't know. Anyway, thank you for tagging me in this and I'm happy that this is what happened. Cause I, I mean, that's what we we're talking about when we first saw the story. We're like, wait, 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 wait. There's so many talented individuals, such a great movement. There's one person that kind of seemed to fuck it up for lack of a better term, for lack of a better term, you know, why can't we, or they, just come together in a different fashion, form a different shape of Voltron, you know what I'm saying, whatever the hell this is, create another picture, you know what I'm saying, just draw another masterpiece with all the talent that you have. And that's what it seems like they're doing, so that's godlike. So one more time, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the love, definitely let me know how you feeling. FGC, COC, seems to be in full effect, and growing queens of quarantine same full effect and growing so on that side lots of stuff going on thank you guys for all the love hope you guys have a blessed sunday we will see you soon if not tomorrow definitely the day after love you guys forever peace blah 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 subscribe so you can and our final person selected for a 16-man bracket to the death is